today looking at the student experience providing feedback. I'm a local girl, so I came straight from high school to Bond University and every semester I've provided feedback to my lecturers and tutors on the experience that, I ha that I've had. More out of courtesy uh, to the fact that I really appreciate getting feedback on the work that I've done, so I like to give it back to them. Whether my experience has been uh, a success or failure. So it has been successful in the fact that I have been able to provide this feedback. We're really fortunate at, as students, and I think a lot of students don't realise that um, a lot of teachers do value our opinions and, and how we react to the subjects and the course content. However, in terms of student evaluations uh, and ET vows, it's a failure in the sense that it takes place at the end of the semester and all your work has already been done and you're not going to actually reap the rewards of giving the feedback because you may not necessarily have that uh, teacher again. So the issues associated with student evaluation is it takes place at the end of the semester and therefore there is little incentive for students to actually give constructive feedback because it has, isn't actually going to uh, benefit what they are going to do. There is also a certain stigma attached to student evaluations that it is being a complaint and you're complaining about the service that you were given. Some students, I assume, are happy to do that in terms of we're paying to go to university and therefore we should be happy with the service that we are given. Um, however, it's, it's, it's not as if when we have an assignment and we get feedback from teachers that they are complaining about our assignments. It's constructive feedback. Um, but the stigma among students is not wanting to give feedback in the thought that it is going to be a complaint. So, Overcoming these issues, I know at Bonn, and I'm not sure about the other universities, but we do have student representatives for each subject. So um, for each subject, a student representative is elected by our peers, and in week four, they stand up in front of the lecture, ask how the lectures are going, how you're enjoying, how it's conveyed, are there any issues with tutorials and similar questions. So this is really effective and you can also email our student representative if you aren't comfortable going directly to the lecturer and this again goes back to the stigma of it being a complaint. Um, however, the student representative does come to class in week four and it's a fine line between, between the student representative being too early and then the ET vows being too late in the semester. In terms of student associations, I think there's a, there can be a, a greater amount done in terms of create, changing this stigma about it being a complaint. So it should be told in early on in everybody's degree the importance of giving feedback and actually seeing the results and creating rewards for students to actually give this feedback. And this will obviously correlate if the ET vows are done earlier and you're able to see the results that um, have happened. So my final message to universities and teachers, and I know it might sound simple, but for a student it makes a big difference. So biggest point is listen and adapt to student evaluations. Although it may take place at the end of the semester, if one student is feeling it in one semester, it is almost guaranteed that 20 students will feel it in the following semester. And it can really make a difference in terms of the feedback that students give other students on how much they like the subject and how successful the subject was um, if teachers are adapting to the, the information given by students. So I thank you very much for listening today.